Okay. Now, all right, we're having a meeting with Jody. We're talking about the funnel. Um, did you um, hear what Star mentioned about the font? This is what happened. That's the confusion, is they were following the book font because they want it to match. And then, of course, you have your branding. So um, they, we can upload it to ClickFunnels, but it's a, because it's an uploaded font, he said it could drag slightly. Um, is it something that you are like absolutely, is it bother you that much? Um, well, when they did, when they did do the branding, they did the branding, like, cause the book, the book obviously was created by right. Blackheart Books, Yeah, that, that, and then I, afterwards I got branding, but I got branding in a way that complemented the book cover and the yeah. font that was used. So, I mean, I, I, I definitely want to kind of stay, stay with my branding. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll have them change it. All this stuff can be changed. Cause again, it, we just have to upload that font, right? So that yeah. Cause even that. like the A here doesn't have like the cross, like it's like way off. Let's, um, let's look at everything then just so we can, I can get really clear with you. Okay. Um, okay. first off the back, do you like the background? Um, yeah, yeah, the background's fine. The the colors are definitely like this the deep purple and the black and stuff need to be changed, like this purple. Like none of that is none of those are my branding colors. Yeah, well, let me I want I need to look at your style guide to make sure that they given they've provided the accurate codes as well. I'm sure that they probably have. Oh yeah, they absolutely. Yeah, so they have all of that in there. Yeah. And, and and a lot of times they will just do color matching. So this is, you know, all of this will be exact styled towards your exact branding, okay? Yeah, um, our guys do get, and I'll just, you know, from the way that we do layouts, sometimes you have too much of this pink, it looks overdone. So mm -hmm. I know that they wanted to create contrasting colors and that's why they went deeper. And so- Well, they did, there is like, there's kind of like a deep gray. There is a, there's a deep, there's a like kind of a, a deep gray and then a lighter gray and then. Um, so let's look at what then you specifically want, Jody, and so we can go through that to make sure because you know, they might, they're just kind of starting to guess. We always do contrasting colors and a lot of times we'll go deeper, but I want you to be ultra happy with exactly, you know, what it is that you want. So, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely see like there's the bar down there. Yeah. There's like, there's like you know, there's contrasting colors there, right? And then, yeah, absolutely. Let me just, I'm just gonna go here too so I can make sure, um, I need to pull, I'm just I'm gonna pull this up into a different screen if it'll let me. Mm, okay, all right, so. Um, and I'm just wondering, like with um, with all the new pictures and stuff. Yeah. This this photo is is been used a lot in my in my marketing, but maybe I could get a fresh photo in there. I don't know. Uh, we could do that again. Now that's mean we're redoing all of the graphics again. Then so the okay. best is that we get let's get this completed right, and then right. once things are all complete, then we can start making it edits. Um, that way, because I think you're right. I think this would look awesome if we can change it out, but I don't want the team to get stuck now on the redo of the same thing. Let's, right, let's right. get everything finalized and then go, okay, now that the, because the media kit will be completely fresh and new, right? That'll be all your new stuff. And then from that, because they're doing the media kit, then we can start replacing stuff. Does right, right. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm almost positive that this wasn't the, like, because, um, Star selected, she'd given me like four samples of like the, the banner click thing. And yeah. I'm almost positive that wasn't the one that we had, cause okay. she, they, we actually honed in on one and then they, they actually re, re, like they actually reworked on it a little bit. And then just, I'm, I was trying to find, if it's just stuff everywhere. I, listen, I'm going to have her go back through it because remember we have the design team and we have the funnel right. team. Right. So that's all that's going on right now. And then she's got all your final stuff. So then we'll just go through it um, with a, you know, sharp tooth comb um, to make sure that everything's accurate. Cause that's, that happens a lot. When we're doing all kinds of changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get totally lost and they go, I actually don't know what to do right now. So then they don't do it. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, no, I, I get it. I get it. I mean, I, mean, I was just so, you know, like I, I was a visual effects producer. And so, you know, I, I totally get that. Like, 
I had clients where, you know, and you had to really keep information. You had to work yeah. with all, yeah, I totally get it. So but yeah, so here's, that's why I wanted to make sure you guys, you know, cause I've sent the branding package yeah. like, and I've got it in the stars sheet. I've done that, you know, I've kept yeah. mentioning well, it. Let me ask times, what I need to, I think. Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful colors. I mean, I just, you know, I spent like a lot of money on this. So I definitely want to keep in. Of course. So yeah. my, my question is, um, is specifically what do you want to be then your, cause this is your primary color tones right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the funnel, we have to look at what do you want to leave with? You want all this pink, all this, all this, pink. Pink. this pink oh, to be gray. gray. Yeah. I mean, I think scared. that this would be nice more in one of the grays. Yeah. Okay. And then you have okay. like the buy buttons and the click buttons in that pink. Okay, great. Okay, yep. great. I think you know that's, what I mean? that's, yep. that's, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Because this is best this is best putting together of what specifically you want. Now, I would suggest that we go on the dark side of the gray, and then we use mm -hmm. the highlights as the pinks for the buttons. And then yeah. this lighter area, right, can be utilized. Like, for instance, we can then use the lighter gray either in your, your name, the, the white, you know, using the lighter gray and the dark gray. So then that way, the highlights, the accent is just the accent pink. Because right now, mm -hmm. it's not accents at all, right? It's, that's why they mm -hmm. did this. They're like, I'm not using that. I only want to use the accents. Um, but yeah, they totally changed these colors. I don't I'm not quite sure why. They did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so let's go. Super I like it. I like the, um, the background. Like the, I like the, having the book like that. Yeah, I think yeah, that I looks too. nice. Yeah, um, and we'll use highlight, the same pink for the buttons. All these highlight pieces are great. Then we'll go the very, very dark gray. Um, and then is I'll that this, is that pink the, is that pink the, um, the pink from the, from the branding though? We'll just make sure that it is. If they haven't used yeah. the, the codes for that, we have to make sure that these codes are specifically being used. And yeah, and this thing around, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, we can, well, let's, um, cause Star's watching this and so we're going to double check this to make sure this is the final, uh, graphic. Is that the one you were talking about? Yeah. Cause I don't think this is and that A in banks right there mm -hmm. is not, a, like, that's not a, that that's doesn't even match the book yeah, font. Part of your, um, yeah, your, like it's, yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm not actually quite sure where these fonts, these specific fonts have come from. Yeah. Um, so we'll just make sure everything matches. Okay. Yeah, so like, now, the, like it's definitely not fonts that match. Even the yeah. book, the book, it doesn't even match the book. So yeah, those fonts gotta go. And yeah. then these fonts here, this little right up on the side where it says, if you scroll up, yeah, hi, I'm Jody. Like um, those fonts are, mm -hmm. yeah, just kind of random, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I like, um, I don't know, I mean, do you, because this slider thing is kind of, you go up, it kind of covers the book. Like, it looks kind of odd, like, because the book goes narrow there. Yeah, I mean, that's part of kind of what a slider does. The difference is it's just the, it could be flipped. Yeah, like, so maybe the book goes where the calculator is. Is that what you're thinking? That, yeah. And then the calculator. But honestly, I actually, I don't want this background. I want an image background of you and your family. Remember how we had talked about that before? Either your family oh, or yeah. you. Like, um, and I always use mine as an example because I literally worked on mine for ever to get it right. And so background images are awesome, right? Like we love having our images in the background because then it kind of shows the book, etc. But this is, this is the, what they were looking to do. Oh, okay. They don't have that one yet. Oh, I got it. Okay. I see what you're doing here with this. Hi, I'm Rhonda. Okay. Yeah. So they were doing, um, you know, just putting something in a space for you. So this is perfect. Like right here is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, that's what we want. So for yours, we either do the book, which I don't want to do more of the book because we already have it. So we, but we yeah. have a lot of great images of you, right? So we either do a, a full image of you of either high quality image, either at the boardroom, which I think would be really classy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that ones that could show just you. Do you have some that you were sitting? Like how I have my big chair one. Do you, do you have any of those that you were sitting? 
Mm. I'm just still looking through. I mean, there was, I feel like, yeah, some of those chair ones, I was wondering where they were. But, you know, again, I haven't, I haven't, like, really, like, I've only kind of thumbed through them on my phone. Okay. So I'll look. Because, um, yeah, I did some chair ones, but I was a little nervous about how my, how my front and, because, uh, you know, I squish, right? And it's like everything. Bleh. Yeah, I know. That's, it's hard for me to do chairs because I look like my boobs are sitting on my waist. I mean, so I have to literally be at a really weird angle, <laughs> leaning, just, and I'm wearing all black. So it's it's challenging if you're if you know to do the sitting ones for me as yeah, well. Yeah, when you got like that the apple shaped body. Yeah, but even so, it, we can do what I think would look really the best is either having something like you standing at the board or you standing uh, in a talking position and in your talk would be a really great one as well because yeah. it's showing you talking with people. It's like you're working it. So that's what I prefer to have here. Right. So if I. How best to, because I would really like your, you know, um, like your, your input. Like when I go, when I'm going through the pictures, if I kind of mark like say three or four that I, I like that could fit in that spot. And then can I send those to you and you can kind of. Totally. Yeah. That's, that's why I wanted to meet with you because for you guys, yeah. you know, all of the IPs, like I'm, I'm working with you guys on this one opposed to just you know, you grabbing some stuff. So that's what I'd like for you to do is look at the ones that you really okay. like. And I want to show you certain ones we need, like the ideas that we need. And you're like, oh, okay, that one should go there. That should go there. Okay. You'll know right. what you're looking for. And then you can send them over and say, hey, what do you think about this one to be, you know, on the bottom of the funnel? And that's, that's, I think, how the, how we should work it. So um, let me open this up again. Because I do, and I do have a really, I have a really nice picture of Hunter and I where we're on the beach and we're, our heads are together and the sun's mm -hmm. coming through and it's almost like a heart. Oh, that could be a really good one. Though. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can, I'll find that. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm just looking here through just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. I, I want to find out where that confusion lied because this is your, your style guide's very clear. So um, I just think that they were getting stuff on and then. Yeah, because I think, because when I look at it, I think these are your colors actually. The, the black that blends into the purple. Yeah. I think they were just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were just mocking what we were doing until we got everything yeah. accurate. But that's um, I, it's all easy, good. easy to be changed. Very easy to be changed. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Because the, the biggest thing is just getting the funnel done and then the branding side of it all just comes from it. Um, yeah. So, okay. So then what we, what we need to now be mindful of then is finding that one right sh shot that goes down here, right? Ma mm -hmm. We're matching up all the fonting. Uh, this is not completed. So I'm going to look and see. Yeah. Because then the, cause even at the top here, we're at the very first spot where it says beyond the banks. Yeah. It is um, definitely you know, not consistent. And then I think that the next font is actually okay because I think they're using the font from the book right here. Yeah. Like right where, right where you've got the mouse. Yeah. Well, this is because this is the design team and then this is the funnel team. Okay. So that's, that's right. Okay. Right. So there's, there's certain things that the design team did that I know what we did. And then the, the tech team is just trying to put it all together. And then we go yeah, back okay. through, and then we edit, 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 edit as the design side of it. Um, it's just getting the funnel. It's, it's really getting the funnel set up. They don't always care as much about all those details that we care about. They just want to sure. get the functionality of it set up. So they just, just want to get the framework of it. Yeah. And, and when I got, when I looked at it, I thought, I thought that's what I thought. I thought, oh, well, this is just the framework yeah. because you guys have my branding package and everything. Yeah. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but it's just highlighting as yeah. well, just being obvious. And that was the obvious was that we just didn't know which you wanted. So I would say, let's look at the dark gray and using the dark gray with the highlights, and then we'll use the light gray in the other, you know, accent areas. Um, okay, yeah. so I most likely will prefer this to be gone if we get that great image. So we could probably play with a few yeah. images. Either one with you, Hunter, or one with you at the boardroom, or one with you with an audience. Okay, for that one. These are great. Yeah. I want to do um, as seen on. Um, I think I like to have that. Do you like to have as seen on, or do you just want the logos? No, I'm, 
um, as seen on either either or. I like all of them. I prefer to have that, but some you know some people don't care to have it. So like, actually, my I have it on this one. It has it on my other site. Um, okay, so that's good. Those are easy. We'll get those done. Let me look at the second page. Um, um, I called uh, Stripe as on well. Signature thank you page. That was um, you. Let me. I'm going to pull up our our order form and our confirm page. Um, but you said this is my signature thank you page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you, I don't you know. want it to look exactly it's, like this signature page here, but we can add buttons to it. Is that what you're if looking you can, for? It's it's stylized, you know, it's stylized to the to the so like when you go to my website and you click on, you know, I have it on my my PowerPoints is my thank you page. I have it on like when you order, that's the or when you put your information in. Yeah. It comes up. It keeps congruent. Um, that's fine. We, that's that's great to know, right? So we can use that complete thank you page. All, the only difference will be um, is it's it, these. This is CSS code. So this oh, okay. is all coding, right? So there's no product here yet. It's going to say, "Congrats, download your book. Congrats, get your audio." So it's going to have all of this linkable here once the products are entered in. So this right here is all coded. So what we can do is I can either put that on the complete background and move, of course, move down the whole Jody Vetter bar. We can move all that can down. Can you, um, hey Rhonda, can you share? Cause I don't, I'm not, I'm just seeing a blank. Ah, that's weird. And yeah. I think that you might be referring to something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So oh, okay. I, yeah. So that right there is all coding. Uh, the product will, the product will show up once the products are added in, like here's your access, your downloadable book, access your audio. It'll be here and there'll be clickable links. Okay. So what we need to look at is we're going to move your Jody Vetter bar down the footer bar all the way to the bottom. Then mm -hmm. we can look at utilizing your, uh, your thank you guide as the complete image above and then see if I can move down the thank you for your purchase and we can shrink it a bit but it just, we might have to play with it a little bit because this is all coding right here. Oh, I see, okay. Okay, because this is, this is the product delivery page as well. They get to click on it, they get to download the books, and, and you know, download everything right here. Okay. Okay, um, so we'll have to just look and see if we can play with that and it makes it, if it does, great. I, I would prefer, if you're listening to this star, my preference would be bar down to the bottom, her complete thank you image um, here. Oops. And then this white bar above, that would be my preference so we can see Jody's complete thank you um, and just see if we can do it that way. But and I just want to hi highlight as well, both you and Star is like, again, on the links that I've sent, there's, the, there's a logo link that I've sent as well. Mm -hmm. And in the logo, I've got, I've got um, a course by Jody Vetro. I've got Beyond the Banks Academy that's a logo as, as well that is you can use, um, which will be congruent with like the beyond the banks dot academy um, for the actual course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've so got all um, that. Yeah. So you're saying when on the uh, upsell product page, utilize. Mm -hmm. those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's my upside down book. Yeah. We couldn't use. Uh, this zoom is oh yeah definitely don't use that <laughs> did, they, did you get to replace them they're apparently coming 2400 books are coming tomorrow whoa right. yeah they didn't replace the whole lot which was fine because i did have like yeah. you know probably half of them that were were fine but i did get them to replace more than half so it's good all right good okay so that's the confirmation page then let me just look at, there's the order form. Yeah, so what we'll do then for the pro, using the product images, the product logos for the one-time offer as well. Um, so your branding film will go here. Oh, you need to reshare. Oh. On Zoom, I have to tell you, you have this like Christina Applegate kind of look. 
<laughs> like when you put your hair back in a ponytail, like the first time that we met, your hair was back, and I was like, I couldn't figure out who you reminded me of, and then it dawned on me, yeah, I'm like, I like Desmond, her. have I just told you that before? No. But that's yeah. all, it takes a all it takes is a couple mouths and look her up now again. <laughs> yeah. We grew up with her, like right? In the oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, like even, because even this, um, this image right here, this um, Beyond the Banks, this is another totally different image, one that we didn't, we, we, we disregarded. So, yeah, so yeah, we'll have to find out. They just have um, to change all, the, yeah, all your finals, so it's to change all of them out as your finals end. And this is why we have to go through this like this, so that now yeah. starts this and go, oh my God, none of this has been changed out. So Star, once, Star Wind also runs funnels, but she doesn't do the back end. So once all the funnels are set, she then interchanges and makes sure things are totally accurate. So she does your quality control and your finalization. Um, but we don't right. have all these you know, background images as of yet. So let's all the, let's just clear all that up so it visually looks good to you. Um, mm -hmm. Really, our focus is just getting this back end done. That's the hardest part, right? Is yeah, for sure. Um, I was gonna say something. Um, yeah, so uh, we need to get a little, um, a little know, blurb. Yeah, a little blurb right there. And okay, so how, we have to get this really super clear because what I'd like to do is um, how my how, how I have on my funnel where I say get the audio and the PDF download. Uh, that's something that we're gonna want to add in is either. You know, it can either be here, like um, you can either put it above the Beyond Bakes here, like get access to your, you know, the audio and the, um, the download, and then make the product options, because right now we don't have all the product options in here, is doing, we have the order bump right now, which is add on the audio and the PDF for $10, which is normally $14.97, but we've got to also add in the shipping right? So um, your shipping is already set. So that'll be, all of this has to be on here. We have to have, um, you know, the, the shipping costs for, you know, the USA is, what were you doing for 997 was it? Um, for shipping for the US, I think it was like international shipping is 1499. And 997 for. And 999 for Canada. Yeah, for USA. So we have to have all that on there. And then I just sent the request after our last call, which was to have, um, to look at how we can add in, like get my book now, or if you're a Canadian, um, Canadian buyer, click here. Yeah, and I talked to Stripe, and they said it's um, because of the way that they do it with it, because they both have, I'm all set up, I have both my US and my Canadian account, and they said that it's all, they, they, they indicated that it was very straightforward, you know, whether it is or not, I don't know. They knew I was working with ClickFunnels. Yep. And it indicated that it's very straightforward because um, that they allow a Canadian to have both a U.S. and a Canadian account. And that in the code, it's it just, like, it, it'll identify when it's a U.S. card and shipping address or versus a Canadian card and shipping address, and it will go to those respective accounts. And well, that's what I thought. I, we've never had the issue, but that's, I thought you said you had a, more of an issue with that. So We had that issue. No, we had that issue just on that little e-com site that the, the shop page that Paul had set up, right. the temporary shop page, yeah. because it, he set it up with WordPress. He was just trying to do it in the most cost-effective way, but he set it up with WooCommerce. Right. And in order to you know, WooCommerce, you have to have an extra plugin or something. And he's like, you know, why bother buying that plugin yeah. if I'm going to go over to ClickFunnels? So. Yeah. Okay, good. Then we'll just keep it as, as normal, which is it's keeping you at Canadian dollars and then it can change whether it's an American card or not. Cause that way you're keeping your Canadian, you know, clients happy and they're paying the same price. The Americans just pay a little less. You don't know basically what, what, like they would both pay so Canadian dollars. I don't know. They both this is pay. Where I get lost. Yeah, they both. Like I can have like a Canadian price and a U.S. price, and then. Oh, I see what you're saying. So they have. You set the price. So like we set everything. Ours isn't U.S. dollars. But when we pay U.S. dollars, they just it converts into this is what you need to pay in Canadian dollars. 
but yours would be set as Canadian dollars, and then it would just convert to what the cost is in American dollars when they're charged. I think what happens is they have to indicate, like as soon as they indicate which country they're from, then it goes into, okay, you're gonna pay US dollars, and then they just go through a US dollar thing with Stripe, and if they're indicating they're, they're Canada, then they go through a Canada thing. And so it can be like $32 yeah, Canadian. It's, really simple. it's like not as big of a deal as that. I mean, it's super simple. We've never had an issue. That's why I wasn't sure why you, there was, a, there was some issues with your Canadian account because we've never had a but you're saying, But you're saying that if you're gonna put it as a Canadian price, then you're indicating the currency. Yeah, you have to indicate one currency though. I mean, you could put it on there in text if you really want to, but none of my stuff says what it is for Canadian dollars. Everyone just knows they're paying US dollars. I'm paying $25 and whatever the conversion is. And then once you fill it out, it just, it converts it into what their costs are. Okay. We'll, we'll, we will get uh, that, all that set up and you'll see it because I don't have an example for you right now. Everything yeah. is set in, you set it in your current price and then it's converted into as many different currencies as whoever purchases as. But they can, they can identify what card you have because they, they know, it's, you know where it's coming from, from your okay. address. So there's a billing address for all cards. So then it'll just convert. And it just says, um, you know, this is what your costs are. And it says it in your currency because the Stripe gives a receipt in your currency. Right. Because I mean, the I wanted to make sure that it was like, you know, like nine, nine for the one time offer. Um, like if I make it 997, like I don't want it to be like, you know, seven something US. I want it to be 997. So, so then I have to set it up. So it's like maybe 1297 Canadian then. For the for the one time off for the course, okay. Like I want to sell the course at a minimum of nine ninety seven U S. That's a, like the lowest I want to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so then I would set it at the Canadian price that you want then, right? Because if all okay, they're going to be selling it more. You it's you can't want a U.S. pricing, but then you're worried about the Canadian. You have to then just set it as the Canadian price and then the Americans would just pay what they pay. So that means your, your Canadian price will have to be higher then. Right, okay. Because if you're showing two different price points, it doesn't really, it just doesn't, it just doesn't look sexy, right? It's just kind of right. confusing and then people just don't buy. Yeah, yeah. You know, we we, we want to prevent all of that. Right. Okay. So let's just set everything at Canadian pricing. Um, as well, I, I'm sure that you've got it. If it, it, it's, it's been already submitted, the exact price. Let's make sure that's accurate. Like this is the the price for the book, all Canadian dollars. Price the book. Price the PDF and audio as a bundle. Price for shipping. Price for um, uh, the course, so that we have the exact accurate pricings because they're going to have to start creating these products. Right. Okay. They have to create all individual products, and then mm -hmm. there'll be individual products will have to be created for U.S. dollars. All of that. So once we set that price, they're going to start building out. There's a lot of steps to that. Okay. So set prices. Okay. Yeah. Let's just make sure. Yeah, we know every possible price point that we can have, and then we can do that. And then for um, then for the other thing I was going to say. For this is so this is like it's so it's so detailed. Um, the OTO. Yeah. Um, if I'm doing a funnel, and it's like taking the people through, and the price is over a thousand dollars, is that not as effective? Or I kind of want to know, like, what's the price point where? Like someone yeah. will go so, through this and actually purchase. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. So this is why we, we had chatted about this, right? Making that little introductory course because by doing a 997 course could be a challenge. It's, 
it's a challenge to sell anything. Yeah, you do the 197 course, right? Yeah, right. So that's like taking just that really simple first, you know, three or four um, modules and putting it in a ClickFunnels membership site. So that's really easy to do. And if you've already gotten, because we had already talked about that, even possibly moving it over from Kajabi, but at least getting those first ones set so we can get this funnel done. And then you either do a webinar or you do an upsell email that brings them in for the full course. Right. Okay. Yeah. See what, what the Kajabi, what I haven't been emailed a chance to talk to her. She does do the cloning though. I did, I did email her about that. Okay. Um, so yeah, cause what we were going to, what we originally talked about the Kajabi person was that I do the Canadian course and then I clone it to the U S. So when people come to my beyond the banks Academy, they, there's going to be a Canadian flag and a U.S. flag. So if you're U.S., you're going to click the U.S., and then you go and you follow that. And there's only maybe like three modules that are different. Otherwise, they're, they're, they're fairly similar, but there's, there's three or four modules that might have a little bit different content. That's all. Okay. So um, to keep something like that simple, do you need to – I don't know where you're going to take them for those modules. It might just be smart to say module two. If you're Canadian, follow here. Same underneath the same module. It's if you're American, follow this these instructions. I wouldn't make it sound like cloning and sending them over could get quite messy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she said that it's it's really simple. She said we'll have, you know, like right like beyond the banks dot academy. You go in, and you know you you go to the the, the course, and then if you're and then they'll have it, you'll have like, you know, a Canadian and American and it's like, you just pick All right, country. As long as, she, as long as she knows how to do it in Kajabi, we'll keep that on that end. We're going to keep this funnel, the introduction course inside of ClickFunnels, and then we'll keep the full course in Kajabi. That way it's just a deliverable product. Either you're, you're either upselling it in an intro course that says like, there could, there'll be a module that says, this is, um, you want the full course here and click here and it takes them to the order page for the full course. Okay. Well, okay. So we'll just, we'll, so then what we'll do is then we'll work on it like that as the two separate. And then if say we see an opportunity where we can consolidate it all into one of these platforms, then. Well, that's the thing. If you've already, yeah, exactly. I mean, this, it, that's an easy, just get it done. Yeah. That's and an then, easy add on. But, and for this purposes, for this funnel, we got to have a lower ticket offer or it's, it's, they will buy it. Right. So yeah, we can definitely do the lower ticket offer. I, I said we get it. My, I always have to get it done. <laughs> right. I think that's what we need you to focus on. Really, I don't want to even actually think about then getting this media kit done yet. Like, let's. I need you to focus on this course done. So we're just going to keep working it on, right? So let's just get the course material done. We're going to clean up all of this. We're going to select the images, and then we're going to get the you know the comb on. Okay, this is the video we need. I'm, I'm waiting for the last minute to get videos because I want to make sure that how we do the calls to action for the one-time offer is accurate at the very last moment because then we'll start creating these products in the back end and that, right, that you know, we want to make sure we do it properly. Okay. So you don't think that I should start doing media? Because what I'm going to do is do, like, the way I did it, and I don't know if this was the best way to do it, but it was, like, the first way, is that... And I think we kind of talked about this just having a November 30th start or maybe I talked about with Brian. I can't remember. So yeah. the people that signed up, I said it starts on November 30th. I am doing a little webinar intro live um, for them this week okay, to great. introduce them to that strategy that I presented like in more detail because those people are coming the following week and I want to be able to introduce them and then I can make some money <laughs> if they buy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I thought I would do that and just because it's so far away still, but then it gives me that space to just really hammer this out. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And that's another, that's, you know, build the plane while you fly it kind of mode. Get the yeah. first one done. You know, get, get the first one done. And then any of the recording, because what I'll do is I'll also have people on during the week of whatever theme, some yeah. of my affiliate people, 
interview, record, and I can dump those in the course to add more value to the course. But really, like after November 30th, once that means that the course is ready, after November 30th, if somebody wants us to join December 1st, another person joins December 5th, it doesn't really matter. They can all. That's right. That you want to make sure you have content in there. They can start and they don't have to wait for the start date. That's really important. Right, right. That's really okay. important. That's going to give you a lot more freedom as well. And then we can work on, once we get all that done, then we can work on the complete sales strategy where you're like, webinar, run a course, webinar, run a course, right? Marketing, then webinar, then run, like, so we can yes. keep the cycle moving. Right, okay. Because that's where you want to create this MRR. We want to use this sales not to be reliant on your time. Right, exactly. Right, and that just comes down to how the sales process will be set up. Um, okay, so this is, so that's great. So then what we should focus on, let's look at the pictures. Let's get, um, we need to finalize this funnel. Um, we could do the media kit, but I, I, unless, I want, really want you to be able to focus on getting this done. Yeah, the course. Right, um, because, yeah, let's get this course done because there's so many little pieces that rely on all of that. Yeah, because I guess, and like, because, you know, once the media starts happening, it's like you want to have this done, right? Yes. This or, or like a good portion of it. I was going to have you on my, um, my show. I was going to say, if you want to be on my show this week or next week? And um, obviously you have it on your website. That's fine. That's easy. So that can work. You can do your, get your book, you know, get your book away um, using your website. But man, I tell you, once you start doing some of these podcasts, we want that book funnel to lead them into the course yeah let's do that i'd rather because it's bigger bang for them, right like it yeah once everything is ready exactly so um so there's going to be a list that we're going to need then and we'll write out that list of the image that we need for the funnel and then it's going to come down to this introductory course just what is the name let's say the like first three modules that you want to put in that intro course because then we're going to have to brand that as well it's that module branding you know, what the, what the modules are, and that's got to get set up as well in a membership site. Right. Okay. So if you could just literally focus on what's going to be as an outline in this introductory course. Okay. I mean, it should only just be the first couple, you know, steps anyways in the full course. That's fine. But not okay. giving the full strategy away until they get the other course and then you can do like the fourth module can be you saying you know these are just the beginning steps inside of my complete program i go through this i go through this this and you can show them on a, you know on a slideshow and then say so click down below you get access because you're in the introductory course you get you know 300 dollars off or something like that so anyone that comes from the inside can get okay. the full course at a lower price and also includes a call from you or something so we we'll put all that together if we have the okay. introductory course outline, then the guys can actually make the branding for it as well and, and start building on the membership site. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. So anything else from you that uh, other than you focusing on getting this these coursework materials done? Do you really get up at 3 a.m. every morning? Between 3 and 5. So where do you get your energy? Like, I'm really dying. Like, I don't know if I'm like, perimenopausal or what that I'm just like dying yeah you know it's uh, I have really that's why we brought Nico to the event because I really had to focus on really keeping like really keeping my breathing my mindset straight so if I get up usually anywhere between 3 4 30 is kind of like my thing um, and then I take those first that first half an hour I do breath work I do squeeze and release then I do my writing and I literally take about an hour and I do just the certain writings that I'm doing for the day with it, social media, whatever it might be. And then I get really focused and I do my full four hours straight, whether it's a live, like I take four hours straight. But every 90 minutes, I do 10 push ups. After I eat, I do a total meditation for like 15 minutes with the, with the breath work. And I tell you, just that alone, four hours, right? Doing my every 90 minute of push ups. A little bit of a breath work and then I take a meditation after I eat and we because we intermittent fast I don't eat until like around 1 1 30. Oh okay. So I keep my brain very very clear I intermittent fast all the way until then then I eat high protein and then I take like a 15 minute meditation 
breath work and then you then you've got two three more hours where it's like super clear and focused oh okay jesus right so that's like i remember when i gave you guys that that lineup i'm going to snapshot that again for everyone because i think that was something that is really easy to overlook with the most important piece in keeping and maintaining the clarity and getting those chunks of work done just those chunks and even even you know even a 90 minute chunk you get so much more done when it's just narrow focused yeah and i'm i'm finding like it's it's scattery right now too because i've got like um you know people like you know i've got just appointments all over the place and then that like chunks up the week and i'm trying to like i really have like if i can get up at you know 4 4 30 then i can do stuff before hunter wakes up that he wakes up at seven. yeah and then get him to school by nine whereas like now i'm like getting up and then i I get to school at 9, 9.30, yeah. and then I don't start my day till 10. Yeah. And then it's like, I have to pick him up at like 4 o'clock. That's totally That's yesterday. Yeah. So I would really, if you focus on, even if it's that 4.30 wake up, you know, and you get 4.30 to 6, you literally, four, or even if it's 5 to 6.30, you're going to get so much more done if you say, okay, this is my time frame. I'm, I'm waking up. I'm taking 10 minutes. I do this, this, and this. And I'm focusing on the outline of what's in this course material you will literally change. It will get so much more done. Yeah. And then if you have yeah. 50 days, pick one day, one day where you can have four full hours. I, you know, when I, you know, obviously I've got client work, I've got, you know, uh, all this stuff. I have to take media day for me is Wednesday. I have CEO day on Monday. Wednesday is my media day. And that is when I film anything I need to get filmed. Like, you know, we do certain things that we've got to get done as a family, of course, and here or whatever, but I take one day and that means I can get a whole course done in three hours because it's that day. Yeah. So if you just focused on your hour and a half in the morning and, and I like plan it out from the, this week, this is what I'm going to accomplish. I mean, literally, if you take five days, you're going to get five modules done, just the planning. And then one day is when you film it. Right. I know the filming will go by like that. Yeah, that'll be fast for you. Just getting everything converted over. Yeah. 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 And, and it's like, you know, I've still got some of those like one-on-ones I'm trying to finish up and all that shit. Right. So it's like, if you literally just told yourself, I only have an hour and a half in the morning and I'm going to do one module a day, just the planning of it, what's in it, you know, the content of it, even whether it's writing it down, Right. In one month. No, I've got, I mean, I've got all that. Okay. I've got all my content. I'm all I have to do is take my content and put it into like more of like, um, how it would present in video. Right. Modular, like eight, up to eight minutes maximum. Yeah. Like I kind of like squished a lot too much on PowerPoint. So I have to kind of rework. Like that's really what I have to do is I have to just take one day per module. Yep. And just rework that's all the module. Really Focus on the little. I, you, I have all the content. Yep. Just focus on the bites. Okay. Module one today done. Module and you'll be amazed. You're like, oh my god, I, I really did it. It only took me a week, and then you still. Yeah. 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 So okay. You get that done that way, and then um, let's let's focus. And once you get this done, and then you relieve a little bit of that stuff, then we can focus on this media kit. Okay. Okay. What I'm probably going to do is I think I'll probably just have the guys duplicate um like my kit for just completely duplicate it and then we'll pop stuff on as we get it like so it's kind of prepped already i'll have them start making it and then i'll you know we'll start changing it for your colors and then as things come in so that you're not focusing on it yet but i'm getting the foundations done yeah it's a lot easier to see when you go oh i have to pop this this and this and there like you already see what needs to go there it's a lot easier yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like I started, I was like, cause I, I have this, um, this really amazing, like, um, you know, tax thing for both us and Canada. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, but it's, it's from like, it's from IR who I was on the stage, right. It's from that group of people. And then I met with Julian, the, the girl who did it. And I was just like, Julian, can I just like freaking record you on a Zoom rather than trying to rework that whole section? She's like, yeah. So she's just going to come in and then I'll just record it. And I'm like, why am I trying to like rework her freaking PowerPoint? That's like, because it's not my, it's not my genius zone, I guess you could say, like dealing with tax and stuff. So I'm like, she's the tax expert. She's an accountant. I'm like, 
Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think and that's that in the course. And we'll do, I'll, I'll record one for the U.S. and I'll record yeah. one for the Canadians. That's and then the that, that's huge, right? That's yeah. Yeah. So if you, that, that it's, it's chunking it down that way. So, okay, this would be easy for you to do. It's taking no brain work out of you. You're just doing it with her. Done. Yeah. Right? And you're like, mm -hmm. okay, each day I got one module done. And just reorganize it and then take that one day and go, I'm filming them all because they're ready to go. Yeah. And then can I ask, like, do you have, um, do you recommend, like, like, say I do record with some of these people and they're in my course, that I have some sort of form to sign off on? Yeah, definitely. You want to do, do anything NDA? like that? So we have an NDA. Right? We can give you our NDA. Yeah. They're generic, right? You can edit them for yourself. And you should have them do a non-compete, non-disclosure. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's, that way they're not either taking your content or, you know, it's, it's you have the rights to use And they've them. given the rights to. To use yeah. them. It's smart. Okay. Because you never know what people will do you know? Right. And that's just smart. Like that's why, you know, our events, I have to do that with everyone. Right. Because once you sign a non-compete, non-disclosure, now I can, you know, I can dictate where my content gets to go and who gets to use it. Right. Um, you know, same thing like the teacher's not doing being a head coach anymore. And so I'm like, she's got a non to compete for everything. So I, you know, we had, she just wanted to continue to do some things for herself. And I said, that's great. But any content you've ever used of mine, it's all trademarked. It's mine. And she's like, I said, so it's okay. You can't lift and you should go, but you can't use any of my stuff. And she's like, oh no, what am I going to do? I'm like, well, that's the choice that you make. <laughs> but that's important, right? Because this is our intellectual property. And right. It, right? so it's, you protect them too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right, girl. Keep us posted in the group. Star is getting this complete recording, so she's, she's going to start combing this. That's part of her project. Make sure that these things are accurate and combed, and then we'll, we'll readjust the branding side of it all, and we have to start putting together the OTOs and things like that, but we'll get that stuff in the back end because there's a lot of details in the back end. That's the part that gets tricky. So if we're not done on the front end, the back end, we can really goof it up because we're changing things too frequently. So we've got to get it all accurate so that we can build it in the back. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. Keep you posted. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Okay. Thank you. Right. Hopefully, okay. I'll have your videos done by the end of the week. That's the plan. And then, how long are you in Arizona for? We will be here either until tomorrow, Wednesday, and then we drive to Lake Arrowhead, California, um, for like two weeks. We've been invited to be in this big eight-bedroom cabin in Lake Arrowhead. This guy just said, "Guys, you've been on the road for too long. We want to gift you our gorgeous cabin." come stay and he wants to do an event with me with like um, Les Brown, Jim Rohn, like some big names. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, it's, he's going to be really good contact and we're going to do some really big stuff with him. So yeah. And but, then Hanale, she, did she do her filming? She's here. We're here with the, um, with the, the director and she's doing some table reads today and who knows, we might be moving back to the USA. Oh, really? Why? Because yeah. she wants to do acting. It's pretty intense. It's a pretty big role. And what is what is the movie? Uh, it's called Rockaway Heights uh, '83. It was taken um, in the setting of um, 